the gumbo. Oh, you're up. Well, Sarah can tell you about the seafood, but the gumbo is uh, the holy trinity. Which is? Which is onions, celery, bell peppers, in this case, sweet red peppers uh, with garlic, sauteed, and then Sean made a roux. Tell us about the roux, Sean. Uh, we use pecan oil, <clears throat> pecan oil and flour, want equal parts. And uh, pecan oil can get cooked really hot. And so you just mix it together, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. And then once that is uh, darkened, you add it to the, the pot with all the, uh, most of it. Oh, I've got an okra. We put okra in it. Oh, yeah, that's right. We all procured okra. And, and then it's been, it's been boiled, it's been slowly simmering for about 45 minutes. And then we added the crabs a little bit ago, and then we just, just added the shrimp. And we seasoned it with... Why are we just now adding the shrimp? Because you don't need to cook it very much. Thank you. And we seasoned it with Joe's stuff, which is the only stuff you ever need. This what is Joe's Oh, what well, God damn if I know. Let's find out. It's an all-purpose seasoning blend. It started here at the School of Cooking. Joe Kahn, who was the guy who opened the school 38 years ago now. More in there? I don't know. I haven't seen um, it. Was working for Pagal. And he knew when he opened the school that the people he was going to be serving here would not want hot, spicy food. So he took and removed the red, black, and white pepper out of his, his um, uh, spice mix. And the red is paprika. There's no MSG. There's no chemicals in it. And it lowers the sodium. So it's the very first all-purpose seasoning blend ever. So at our house, we have salt, the pepper. We have, at our house, we have salt, pepper, and that on the table. Yeah, and then you just add it to your taste. So if it's not spicy enough, when I say spicy, I need oregano, basil, thyme. That kind of stuff. It's not spicy enough. You can add more Joe's stuff in the body. Heat is red pepper, white pepper, black pepper, habanero, and the heat. The, I like to change it to green hot sauce. Okay, now we're going to so make this. So we're going to thicken the gumbo thick enough with the okra. It's been boiling with the okra. Thicken it up. And then Sarah just put in the tomatoes and the scallions and the tomatoes and the parsley. Why did you put the tomatoes in so late? That way they'd retain the flavor and not be all like... Yeah, they the part, extra part, lots of color. Okay, um, we're gonna serve this over potato salad, why? German style. German yeah. style. And we're gonna serve it. And we're gonna serve it for my one friend without with just rice. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Dan's getting rice. Everybody else. Let me, no, I'm let me, not getting rice. The rice is for. Let me, let me video the. Uh, okay, there we go. Potato salad, delicious. Make sure everybody gets a half a crab. Yeah, I'm trying. and flour. If we had can, uh, they can be separate flour, scoops. We got a shrimp in there too. And the stock is vegetable stock. So at this point, all you have in there are vegetables. Grab a 